Is this mic working? Can you hear me? Can you hear me from the top of the Premier League? Manchester United 2, Aston Villa 1, United equal points, top of the damn Premier League on the 1st of January 2021. That game of football was one of the best Premier League games I've watched in a long, long time. Aston Villa, fantastic football the whole way through. Jack Grealish is an absolute baller, but Man United 2-1 winners. Yes, please. Top of the Premier League, what a 12 months of progress it has been for United. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've had our moments. We're still not a team that dominates a full 90 minutes of football. But we are a team capable of coming up with those moments regularly. And today, we did it again. That first half there, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, first assist of the season. Great cross, fantastic finish from Martial. Going into that second half, Villa were pressing us. It got nervy. Traore equalised and you couldn't say anything else apart from the fact that that was a deserved equaliser. But less than a minute later, Paul Pobble wins a penalty and I personally think it was a penalty. And Bruno Fernandes, he does what he does best. He steps up and he scores a goal. And that was a tense, tense 25 minutes after that. Villa were pushing for it, but United were pushing forward as well. Some of the football that both teams were playing was fantastic. Villa's goalkeeper made a couple of blinding saves. De Gea made a couple of decent saves. Villa were playing excellent football for the full game, but so were United. But it, United are top of the Premier League, ladies and gentlemen. We are top of the Premier League. And Villa were a team that came there five unbeaten, really in form under Dean Smith and Jack Grealish and Bruno Fernandes, the two best playmakers in the Premier League. And you saw how good Grealish is on the ball. He's an absolute baller. You have to admit that. I saw that today. Or with Mansan and Grealish. We've got Bruno Fernandes, so does it really matter? Of course it does, but Bruno Fernandes came up with that penalty towards the end there. Oh, I don't care, 2-1. And Eric Bailly there with a the double... Paul Pobble, what are you doing there, man? Right at the end of the game, just take it to the corner. Giving that chance to Villa at the end, ooh, that nearly, nearly blew up in Paul Pobble's face, who had a very good performance overall, but United top of the Premier League. United, I'll repeat this, United are top of the Premier League on the 1st of January. And you don't win trophies in January. But Jesus Christ, the seven years that we've had since Fergie, with from David Moyers to a couple of years of Van Hal to a few years of Mourinho to some up and downs with Solskjaer to where we were last December, going into January without Bruno Fernandes, who remember we didn't sign until the end of January. But no team in the Premier League has picked up more points since the 1st of February 2020 after we signed Bruno Fernandes than Manchester United. Not even Liverpool. And We've got a game in hand on them. That game in hand is against Burnley on the 12th. I think that's before we play Liverpool. <laughs> Come the fuck on. It's just things that... I saw some football that... I, I saw a methodical approach to United there today that I haven't really seen too often. And the quality of the football really was there. More so than moments. As I said, we're, we're a team that, 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 that... Over the large majority parts of Solskjaer's reign has has operated in moments. We're not a team that dominates a full 90 minutes of football and you think, Christ almighty, they deserve to win it. Games like Leeds, we do. But overall, we haven't really. And today, I would say Villa were probably the better team over the course of the full 90, but United had large parts of that game where we were in the game. And for, for a team, I personally think fullbacks are a weakness of United's game. But today, wan and Shaw are probably the two Biggest talking points. Wan Bissaka, he got his assist. Then he was he made a massive mistake to not stand in front of the second free kick. Allowed Villa the short free kick. They equalised. Then he crops up with that unreal clearance at the back post, literally just penging it off El Ghazi's head. Fantastic overall performance from Aaron Wan Bissaka, a player who's got a lot of stick this season. So all credit to him. And Luke Shaw, Villa had to make a sub to try and stop him because he was causing all sorts of problems in the same way that United brought. Well, I kind of shat myself, I'll be honest, when Bruno Fernandes went off for Dan James. I was like, Dan James, really? Like, Come on, man. You've got Van der Beek on the bench here. You've got so many other players. Understood the pace. But that was a bit weird. Obviously, it worked. And it worked. And United at the top of the league. So nobody has any right to complain about anything. Martial getting the goal. He's not had the best of season in front of goal. But I think he's got like six goals and four assists in his last 15 appearances. So for a player who's so out of form... And that's not exactly a bad return. It's just 
United just look like a tit. Look, Eric Bailly, man. Ah, oh, it's the first time since September 2017 that Bailly has started four games in a row for United. And he looks mustard. He is so good. Reminds me when he said, we signed him from Villarreal, you're thinking, Christ, we've got a gem here. And we always have had a gem. So, so that gem gets broken two or three times a season. So touch wood, that doesn't happen now because he, alongside Maguire, is a centre-back partnership that I can actually get on board with. He covers the weaknesses of Maguire and allows Maguire to focus on his strengths because the athleticism of Bay complements the weaknesses that Maguire has. It just, it works. It works, it works, it works. And De Gea, for a man who's been so out of form for so long, he seems to be, he seems to be gathering pace as the season goes on. And for Paul Pogba, a player who was so bang out of form, ever since Mina Raiola was chatting shit, Pogba's been largely very, very good. And United... I'm not sure if I've mentioned it, but I'll mention it. Now, United are top of the Premier League, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the league. And that game against Anfield that is coming up in a few weeks' time, it is such a shame that that has to happen in front of an empty Anfield. But at the same time, an empty Anfield might be a better arena for United to walk into because it is a hostile atmosphere. It's close. It's close in. It's, it's intense. And it's going to be very quiet. Maybe that will suit United at Anfield. But Solskjaer, credit the man. Seriously, look, you know me... Oh, Largely under Solskjaer's reign, I've been extremely positive about Solskjaer. I've wobbled at points. And I certainly wobbled last December, going into January before Bruno. I really wobbled. And I've wobbled at points this season as well. But he's proving everybody wrong, continuously. And United have scored more goals in the 90-minute plus than any team in the Premier League. And that habit is coming back. And that habit under Fergie was not an accident. It's a team mentality. Now, the mentality there today against Villa was... Let's try and close the game out by stopping them rather than us going forward and scoring the third. And a lot of you would disagree with that managerial decision and you don't think that should happen because Twan Zebe coming on for Fred and then bringing Dan James on. No, just bring on Greenwood and bring on Van der Beek and go forward. But we won 2-1 and we're top of the Premier League. So be quiet. What Solskjaer is doing right now is working. Whether you agree with every decision or not, probably not. I mean, that's the wonderful world of opinions. Everybody's got their own. And a lot of them are different, but I don't care. I don't care. United are top of the Premier League. I haven't mentioned it once, so I'll mention it now. But United are top of the Premier League. Bring on Liverpool, man. Happy days. Going into 2021, United are title contenders. No question. And if we bring Amad Diallo in, which we will, he can add a new threat down the right wing, a completely unknown threat. But we have no threat there anyway. Rashford playing on there. He's not good in the right wing. Playing on the left, he's not good cutting in on his left foot. We need a threat on that right wing, and Diallo can bring that in. Maybe if we sign another central... We probably won't sign a central midfielder. We've got Van der Beek, can't even get a damn minute, the poor guy. But it's working. We're top of the league. Let's see what happens next. We've got City in the League Cup semi. We've got... Who we got? What? Wolves? No, Sod knows who we've got. I don't care. We're top of the league. Ha!